and wait. Iowa State students, faculty, and staff have different reactions on the flu on campus this year. Here's Tammy with an update. There have been over 40,000 cases of H1N1 discovered nationwide, with numbers still rising. When H1N1 flu first emerged in the spring, uh, there was an effort to try and identify cases and um, collect a, a specimen for testing on every case. Knowing the difference between cold and flu symptoms is key for awareness and prevention. There's a like sign on the wall inside the H1N1 symptoms. And I checked that, like, I have this, I have this, I have this. And I was like, oh my god, I have swine flu. So I went to the doctor at the Iowa State Clinic and he sent me to the emergency room saying I had H1N1. They asked me all of my symptoms and said that I had H1N1, but they didn't want to test me for it because they were only allowed a certain number of tests. It's important for professors to understand the effects of H1N1 in order to accommodate sick students who may miss assignment deadlines. People who are suffering from economic stress, people who are suffering from physical stress, people who are suffering from academic stress, and that's all coming in this kind of perfect storm that's making student lives not very pleasant right now. I did a special study session before the next test and there are 400 people in the class and about 150 of them came to the special study session. Most of those people had been out for at least a week with the flu. Some students took it upon themselves to conduct their own research studies. This study is trying to determine which factors are going to affect people's perception about H1N1 flu. 209 students replied to my study. 118 students think these things is important to them. And only 40% worried about themselves or their family or their friends will expose to H1N flu. Less than 40% students plan to take the vaccine. Dr. Kahoot, a researcher of kinesiology, has explored how exercise can help prevent H1N1. Our findings suggest that exercise can minimize the severity of infection and perhaps shorten the duration of the infection, um, clear the virus more quickly. Our results don't suggest that you should exercise if you are infected, but exercising before exposure to the virus might minimize the severity of infection. The fight against the flu isn't over yet. Brace yourselves for the upcoming season. This is Tammy Wisman reporting for iState News. Keep track of the flu and facts and ways to prevent it at www.cdc.gov slash H1N1 flu.